Atlantic State University Athletics. And today in our first women's soccer coaches corner, we have Eric Faulkner with us to talk about the preseason and the rest of the August before the Pirates get going in full force in September. And Coach Faulkner, your student athletes have been on campus for a little less than a week. Talk about how preseason has gone so far. Chad, yeah, it's gone really well. Uh, the, the team worked very, very hard over the summer. It was obvious our fitness level is probably the highest it's ever been. The enthusiasm is great. We have great leadership. And so far as a you know, coaching staff, we're really happy where we're at. Now you were able to get out of town, so to speak, down to Jekyll Island for a little bit of a retreat, and you also had some scrimmages. Talk about how this weekend went. Yeah, we wanted to get you know, off campus. We went down to Jekyll Island, and we uh, spent the night down there just to get to kind of get to know each other. You know, obviously, we returned the majority of our team from last year, like 20 players, and uh, but we have some newcomers and uh, you know, new dynamics we wanted to work on, and we had a chance to uh, play uh, a couple uh, scrimmages against some teams, uh, you know, other than ourselves. And I think the players were were happy about that, and uh, we played all right. We, were, you know, tired legs did show, but we scored 10 goals in 100 minutes of play. So you know, and I think the key there is not the amount of goals, is that they came from a lot of different players. Um, so our midfield scored quite a number of those goals, which was encouraging from long range shots. So obviously we had the ability to do that. Um, some of our forwards were able to get some goals as well. So I think you know we're going to be kind of like we were last year. We're not going to be someone where you know all our goal production comes from one player, but I think we can spread the wealth, and I think that makes us pretty dangerous. Now we start the season on September 2nd, but you have an exhibition coming up this week. You're going to take on the Citadel on Thursday. Uh, give us a little bit of a glimpse of how that will go. Well, Coach Wench has done a great job with that program um, since he's been there. They return, I think, the nine starters from last year's team. That uh, I believe uh, there was a log jam in that conference, um, but uh, they were 12 and eight, and uh, um, so uh, we know that it's going to be a good test for us. Uh, we're glad to be here at home for that, um, but it'll give us an idea of what we need to work on and give us some time. Actually, as well, we wanted to schedule something, um, you know, about this same amount of time till we get to our first game, so we can kind of work on some things and, and kind of fix some of our things. So I think we'll learn a little bit more about ourselves and we maybe learned this past weekend, but um, we're, we're pretty excited about where we're at. Now you talked a little bit about the roster having so many players return. Uh, so far in the preseason, do you have any of your upperclassmen who've sort of stood out as maybe a team leader or someone who's really started to encourage the team? Uh, you know, it's several players. You know, it's not just one. We talked about that. We got a lot of uh, players on our team that have certain attributes, you know, and I said, you know, I kind of brought them back together in the spring. I says, you know, if you guys can combine and use those attributes to lead the team, it doesn't necessarily be one player. And I think we, you know, we, we've had develop some leadership. Um, you know, there's the different players stepping up here and there. Uh, but I think, you know, one of the things I saw down in Jekyll Island, for instance, is, is Kelly Barr in the back line uh, helping some of the younger players because obviously the graduation of Kerry Patterson, they've been together for quite, you know, their entire careers. For, so we're going to have a maybe a newer, uh, younger player in there with her. And Kelly was really good about trying to teach them. And I thought that was pretty neat to see without any, you know, me trying to get her to do that. So I think that's important. But, uh, you know, overall, you know, it's been a real positive environment. I think the older players are, are telling the younger players what's expected um, and, you know, and what we expect from them on a daily basis to get to where our goals are. So uh, you know, it's, been, it's been good overall from the leadership standpoint. All right, Armstrong Atlantic will face the Citadel this Thursday. You'll get a new special glimpse, sneak preview, so to speak, of the Peach Belt's new web streaming partner, Ustream. We will broadcast the first 30 minutes of that scrimmage on Ustream. Go to Ustream.com and select Peach Belt, and you'll see the Armstrong Atlantic State page right there. And then, Coach, we'll talk to you before your first matchup coming up on September. Great. Thanks, Chad.